with that being said, we head over to our Seattle Seawolves here who continue to battle for a postseason spot. And Bell, how did that go for them? Not super well <laughs> um, on May 1st against the at the Austin Go Gronies. They unfortunately took a loss, uh, 6 to 17. We don't have a player of the game. Unimpressive performance, I would it, I mean, assume. <laughs> It's tough just because this is a – Austin sits at first in the Western Conference. I yeah. think they've only lost two games. Um, We've talked about our weakness with these uh, alcohol name oh teams. Oh, my God, these, <laughs> these drink name teams. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think with the way that you look at the rest of the season, I think you could have afforded one loss, right? And, I mean, playing it. against the first team in the West – I think that's okay. Okay. But because you didn't get a, bo a bonus point in the losing effort, kind of hurts you. Um, but you said at six and six, you're fourth in the West at 31 points. You're two points below third, which is a roster spot. I mean, a, a playoff spot, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, it's in grasp still. But I think with that being said, and we've talked about it for weeks now, right? <sighs> I think, you know, we talked about every week is important. Now it's like if you lose one of these, you're done. Yeah, like you, you have, have to, to win play out. Damn near perfect moving forward. You have to win out. So doesn't get easier for the rugby team. Does not get easier for our Sea Wolves and uh, the MLR Western Conference. I mean, it's if you want to, you know, cut your losses and you know look at it this way, you're playing a lot better than you did the last two years. In the last two years, you were damn near. Well, in 2020, you only played like five games and you lost almost all of them. So, and last year you were really bad. You know, so, I mean, it's a better it's result up. and it's a step in the right direction, but it, it's it's always frustrating when a team has sort of issues that you that can be seen and it's not like, oh, we don't know what it is and they're not being fixed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like you said, you got to be damn near perfect and it all starts with Dallas next week. If you get upset by a Dallas team that you blew out, Dallas team that's near the bottom of the, the table. Then there might be some cause for concern. Yeah, then I think you're done. As Chuck specified here, they looking ahead. We have a May 8th matchup versus the Dallas Jackals here. And that starts at 7 p.m. Pacific time. 